This video is going to end up very heartfelt. Um, it's going to have no end goal. It's kind of just a rant. I'm kind of mid breakdown. Sometimes I like look around at everyone else in the world, whether I'm witnessing someone's portrayal of life on the internet or just someone I'm around in person. And I understand that everyone has like, I guess a facade, right? So you're not really looking at how they feel on a day-to-day -day basis, but sometimes like I see someone and they just seem happy and it makes me feel like there's something wrong with me, right? Because it's like, I, I, I get so caught up in like, sometimes I feel content and sometimes I don't. It's, I, I don't really understand it. You know what I mean? I'll have days where I wake up and I'm just generally happy. Nothing will make my mood go down. I'll just be a happy person. And I'll have days where I wake up and I'm just like super depressed and nothing is going to change that. And I'm not sure why, because maybe, maybe I'm just wrong to assume this because everyone has their ups and downs, but sometimes you just look at people and it's like, how do you wake up so many of these days and just be generally happy, like most of the time? Like, I don't, under I don't understand. Because I don't wake up most days and feel generally happy. Like, a day where I wake up and feel generally happy is like a miracle day. And I I always fight. Like, I'm not going to give in to those dark thoughts, the, the, the sad thoughts, the depressive thoughts, right? I'm going to wake up. I'm going to get out of bed. I'm going to force myself out of bed no matter how sad and depressed and upset I am. I'm going to make myself food. I'm going to force myself to eat even though I never feel like I want to eat, right? I'm going to force myself to get a little bit of exercise in because maybe that'll make me feel better. I'm going to force myself to try and get eight hours of sleep every single night because that's what doctors say you're supposed to do. I'm going to force myself to try and learn new things about my body to try and improve my mental health. I'm going to force myself to try and learn new things about my mind, about the way that my mind works. I'm going to keep fighting and trying to like do better because I have this glimmering hope that one day I'll wake up and I'll be perfectly content all the time and it will always be like that. Now, that's obviously a very boring way to live, right? Like, I don't, I don't think anyone would want to like always be content, at least not in my head. I feel like, I feel like if I was always content, then I, I would never have the drive to do anything. I would never be, be like, motivated to do anything if I'm always content but like that doesn't mean that I want to wake up and be like depressed right like I don't want to I don't want to doubt myself and not do anything and oftentimes I find that like the way out of these depressive episodes is as much as it fucking sucks right as much as this fucking sucks it always loops back to like I just have to pull myself together and fucking cope through it right like I'm just if I deal with it and that's so fucking balls dude because it's so fucked that like the way for my life to improve is to just get up and deal with being fucking sad and, and go and do shit anyways and force myself to, you know, try and get by every single day. And it just makes me wonder, like, is there something wrong with me? Is everyone, is every single person on earth going through the same shit? Is every person that wakes up in the morning going through the same things that I'm going through? And oftentimes I feel like that's the case because there's so many people I talk to on the internet that experience that. But then like when you look around, it never looks like anyone else is going through that. So I genuinely don't know. I don't know. I, I, I do not have the answers. I just am left questioning. Am I, am I the only one that wakes up and has to force myself to do all this stuff? Does it ever get easier? There are times when it feels so easy and then it just goes right back to being hard again. I don't know what triggers it. 
I should probably go to therapy. Everyone says therapy helps. I remember I went to therapy um, when I was in middle school and I, I hated it so much that I was like, I'm just never going to talk about my feelings again because I didn't want to have to go back. I'm sure that just meant I had a bad therapist. Um, then recently, within the last six months of being, you know, I guess, I mean, within the last six months, I, I started going to therapy again as an adult, right? Um, I tried it again. And I was paying it out of pocket this time. It wasn't my parents paying for it, right? It's, it was me paying for it. And... It, it was worse this time. I uh, I tried BetterHelp. And I know that you're just supposed to find the right therapist. And I'm sure that I got a bad therapist again. But I kind of opened up the conversation with, I really don't want to be diagnosed with anything. I don't want any diagnoses. I don't, I, I just want you to help me come up with ways to like cope with the problems that I'm having. And, and maybe routines that I can have that will help me become a better person, this and that. And first thing that this therapist says is, oh, you, you're probably bipolar and neurodivergent and you have ADHD and all this. And she just lists off. And you know how much that sucks? I, I, if I recall correctly, one of the things she said is, yeah, this, is, this isn't really going to get easier. What? So you're, you're going to tell me, you're going to sit there and tell me as someone I, I went to for help. You're going to sit here and tell me that like there's something wrong with you and it's going to be really hard. And there's not a, there's not, there's not a cure. That's, that's what, that's what she told me. Dude, I, I'm like trying not to hold, I'm trying to hold back tears. Because thinking about that, dude, I don't want to be told that I know that there is a solution to everything. Okay, I know that if I just keep waking up and I keep fighting, that it is going to get better, okay? I know. I don't know how I know. I just know. I know that's the case for everyone. I promise. I promise. I promise. One day, we're all going to wake up and it is going to be better. And I, um, I tried to go to a, a second therapist and that therapist told me that they weren't allowed to diagnose, um, that she wasn't supposed to do that. By then I had kind of been fed up with paying tons of money to just not get help. She never helped me find any plans to cope with my feelings. None of it. So I've been going on this self-help journey on my own of just trying to improve all alone. Um, I talked to my friends. Um, it's been going okay, I guess. But thinking back on that, it, it's like when you're kind of the person someone's going to for help or you're someone in a position of power, the last thing you're ever supposed to do is tell someone that like, hey, no, you can't do this. It's not going to get better. There's no cure. So that leaves me again with the question of, is there something wrong with me? I don't think so. I don't think there's anything wrong with me. I think I have some ups and downs, and I think I deal with them well. And every day I strive to be a better person, no matter how hard it is. And I think that everyone should wake up and strive to be a better person, no matter how hard it is, because it will get better eventually. I think I'm in a position to say that because I think I'm in a position to say that because there are times in my life where everything is perfect. Right now, everything might not be perfect, but sometimes I wake up and everything is perfect. 
And I fight for days like those. And it's kind of gross that like someone in power would just say that. I remember one time, um, someone I looked up to a lot, I, I told them something. It was a little bit drastic. I still believe it. And they, they told me that's not going to happen. I just, there's nothing I hate more than that kind of negativity. What I said was I said I was going to make like $100,000 in a single month. I have not done that yet. I think I'll do it. I know I'll do it. Sorry, I don't think I'll do it. I'll do it eventually. I know I will. And uh, I was told, just bold-faced, you're not going to do that. Bullshit. I will. Therapist, there's no cure. Things are always going to get better. Things always can and will get better. No matter how low you go, eventually it'll go up. And sometimes it won't stay up. It won't stay better. But there will come a time when everything is perfect. I don't know how long that moment will last. It could be forever. It could be a day. It could be a week. It could be a month. It could be a year. Once again, it could be forever. But I know that it'll happen. Because it's happened to me. It still happens to me. So I think that if anyone's struggling with, with their lows, to think something might be wrong with them, I want you to know there's nothing wrong with you. Everyone has their lows. I have my lows. Everyone has their lows. And it definitely gets better. Maybe it might be easier for some people to wake up and everything be perfect. Maybe it might be harder for some people. Maybe it's harder for you. Maybe it's harder for me. I don't know. Maybe I'm not 100% normal. But there are times when things are perfect. And the world seems to stand still. I think it's just important that we fight for those moments. So whatever you're going through, whatever I'm going through, I don't even know. I don't even know why I'm, why I'm tripping out right now. It'll get better. I promise. And I say that from someone who's going through a low point right now. I promise. Okay. Eventually. I don't know when, okay? But I promise. Anyways, this video had no end goal. It was never going to go anywhere. But, uh... Everything's going to be okay.